All right. Okay, so basically, somebody asked me to do a tutorial explaining how I made that video with the sphere that explodes, and so. So I just wanted to do it. Okay, let's do it. Whatever. Just, just let's do it. Okay. You open up Blender, default scene, same as always. Hit X to delete the default cube, and we're going to want to use a sphere because they're round. Add space and then add mesh ecosphere, and we want a lot of vertices for this experiment, so let's just set the subdivision to four. Hit OK. Um, and now that you have your sphere, basically, um, the way the explosion works is by adding an a particle system, and then based on the particle system, you add another modifier that splits up the mesh based on the direction and the velocity of the particles. So let's just start. You have your icosphere, and you want to go down here to the three arrows for object menu, and then go a little bit to the right, and you see this little brick with the yellow stuff coming out. Hit that and add a new particle system. Um, we're going to want to keep most of these the same, and so let's just start by saying we want it to emit randomly but also evenly. So it'll be distributed evenly over the start frame and the end frame. And speaking of which, we want all the fr all the particles to be admitted in one frame. So set the start frame to one and the end frame to two. Now, if we animate this now, we see that the particles aren't going anywhere um, because we need to set a initial velocity. However, I like to use I like to use forces on my particles because I think it looks more natural. So, for now, let's just add some random movement. Uh, under random, just type in 0.3, and then you can check it again. Okay, so that's... Yeah, yeah, that's what we want. Okay, so now that we have our particles, the particle system is set up, it's time to add the force that will push the particles out. Um, we don't want the force emitter to be visible, so we'll add an empty and clear the rotation if you want. Here you can see the empty as the three axes here. In order to add a force to the empty, you should go, instead of going to the particle buttons, go one to the left under physics, and then under fields, go here, and we're going to want spherical because it'll be round just like our sphere. I need to check my reference file one second. Okay, so earlier I had set this to a strength of 10 and that's how much I... <coughs> it, I think it gave me a good result. And let me check one more time. Okay, we want the max distance to be so put use and then the max distance is 2. Okay, so now if we animate the particles we should see that it's gonna go crazy because now there's a force pushing them out from the sphere. Yeah, that's much better. <clears throat> the only problem is that it doesn't look quite natural yet because they're all going at the same speed. So I think we should move this empty down just a tiny bit and check it again. That's much better. Okay. Um, that's a little bit short, so under the particle settings again, make sure you hit the sphere to select it. Under the particle settings, what just happened? Okay, anyway, let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so for the life, right now it's only lasting 50 frames, and I think a value of 250 would be more appropriate. Okay, animate one more time, and you can see that they spread out everywhere. <sighs> okay, the last part of the step is to make sure that the meth mesh... Jeez, okay. Make sure the mesh deforms with the particles. So, um, next to the three arrows in the buttons menu you'll see editing for or F9 just go there and <coughs> add
add modifier and scroll down to explode and this is what's going to give you the really nice effect thing make sure the explode modifier is always under the particle system because we want the explode modifier to be <coughs> to react to the particle system hit split edges because it'll split up your faces and make it have more particles if we animate one more time we see and now your mesh is also exploding with the particles that's very nice um, another detail you can add if you if you feel like is add some rotation to the particles so that it looks more natural just under rotation hit dynamic it's kinda kinda mess with this hit one random angular velocity five okay just whatever you want to put in there and your particles should be spinning now awesome this was part one in the second part i'll be discussing how to make the material and all the other goodies and effects that i used in my video so i hope this was very informative remember it is a video so if i was going too fast you can just rewind and watch it again but i hope this was informative and i really hope it helps you make some really cool blender stuff okay have a nice day